Hey everybody, welcome back to Prepper Junkie. Today the table we have PSA's new gun. It is the Rock, chambered in 5.7 by 28. Let's get this review started. come in this nice little soft case here as you can see let's go ahead and open it up and then inside you have up here your user manual so we have that pistol here and then a couple of mags and then like a gun lock and things like that so let me go ahead and open this up so it comes with two 23 round metal mags uh, these are made by Palmetto State Armory and then it comes with and then it comes with the rock right here, chambered in 5.7 by 28, as I said. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this down on the, on the table. We'll change the camera angle around. We'll give you a nice close look up of this gun. Bear with me. Obviously, we've got the mag in here. You'll notice that it has a cutout at the bottom here. Obviously, that is designed so we do the mag release if it's stuck or anything like that, that you can get a grip on there. Get your fingers in, get a grip, and then pull the mag out. Um, that is what that is for. Now, the grip has also been designed off the PSA dagger. Um, a lot of people really like the PSA dagger grip, myself included. I thought it was extremely comfortable. Um, and this is based off of that grip. So like the texturing and things like that, and the palm swell is very reminiscent of the dagger. I feel like the dagger is more comfortable to me, but this is definitely uh, up there as well. So it fits very nicely in the hand. I have medium sized hands. You can see I can fit my hand on just fine. We do have a finger groove right here and a slight undercut on the trigger guard right here. Um, and it sits very, very nicely indeed. And then you'll notice as I say, you got the logo here for Palmetto State Armory. Again, that nice texturing kind of all the way around here, including on the front like so. Uh, moving up, you do have a large mag release right there. Um, and I can manipulate that just fine without really having to change how my grip is on the gun. Uh, moving along, we do have a single stage trigger. Um, it does, so there's no external safety on this gun. It is, the safety is on the middle blade right here. So obviously if you pull on either side of that trigger, it's not gonna go off. You've gotta depress that safety to fire the gun. Uh, the trigger is not bad. It's a single stage pull. You got a little bit of take up, very crisp uh, break. And then you've got the reset, a little bit of let out. And you heard that it's tactile and audible. It's not a bad trigger uh, at all, uh, straight out of the box. Your slide lock, slide catch, slide release, however you like to call it. Uh, moving along, you'll do see we've got some more kind of texturing right here. That is for when you're, you're gripping the gun and your thumb can rest on that and then hopefully get a little more grip on the gun. So that's what that's for. So nice little uh, feature added on there. We do have a 1913 pick reel uh, right here. So you can attach lights, lasers, or whatever. We just got an old light right here. Um, and it clicks into place like so. And then, so obviously the lower is also polymer and the up upper is stainless steel and it has a QPQ coating is what they call it to help with corrosion. Um, anyway, so yeah, so 1913 pick rail. There's nothing on this side. There's no, uh, it's not ambidextrous or anything like that, as you can see. Uh, moving up to the slide, um, you'll notice that it does have some nice serrations on the front and back, so you can get a nice purchase on that slide. The slide feels really good, um, very smooth. And you'll notice here, it's got a little more kind of uh, contouring on the sides here, like so. Uh, moving up has three dot white sights on here, like so. These are not, they're not like night sights with tritium or anything like that. They work just fine. Um, the nice thing what they've done is they've made these sights um, to accept Glock sights. So any aftermarket Glock sights you want to put on, which are plentiful, as you know, uh, you can switch those sights out if you want. Again, um, 
just straight out of the box, they are better than a standard Glock for sure. But yeah, I'd probably put night sights on, the, on these, but that's just me. Okay, let's touch base on the mags here just for a second. Now I did say these are 23, 23 round mags, which they are, and obviously you can carry one in the chamber. Um, now these will fit into a Ruger 5.7 mag well, um, but PSA says they are not guaranteed to work in the Ruger. Fair enough. Uh, Ruger 20 round magazines will not fit in this 5.7, obviously because these mags are longer, I'm assuming, and that's probably the case. They probably don't fit. And so actually I was going to, I was looking up the price of these mags before uh, I began the review. Unfortunately, they are sold out. And when things are sold out on PSA's website, you cannot see the cost of them. And I did see them once and I can't remember what they were, but they're not obnoxious or anything like that. I think, I believe they're, they're pretty reasonably priced. Okay. All right, so let's take the gun down. Um, so make sure we are empty, which we are. Uh, you make sure that the uh, trigger is depressed. You're going to pull back like a Glock, and there's a tab on either side of this frame here. Let that go, and then just lift up and take that off. So very easy disassembly. So this is the polymer lower. And you'll notice that you can't see really see any, there's no slides on here, and I'll show you because it's actually built into, uh, there's no rails on here because it's built into the slide. And so let's have a look at that. So first of all, we'll take out, so this is your guide rod and spring. And then we have a fluted carbon steel barrel right here at 4.7 inches. Kind of almost looks like a 22 at the end of there, right? 22 barrel. Okay, so that is your barrel right there. Okay, I'm not sure how easy this is going to be to see on camera, but there's two, there's on the rail here, there's a little tab back here and here that goes into the slide up the top. And so it goes in the slide here and then there's a rail built in all the way along here, if I can get it to focus. And then the same thing down at the front here on either side, that little tab on that lower slides in here and then the rail is built in to the this slide on here like that. Fit and finish looks really good um, on these, looks excellent. All right, okay, so let's talk a little bit about the 5.7 round, why you would want to use a 5.7 round. It has approximately stated 30% less recoil than a nine millimeter. And you can really feel that difference um, at the range with the recoil on this gun. You can, it's definitely noticeable less recoil. And it's supposed to shoot flatter over longer, uh, slightly longer distances than the nine millimeter. Also, the reasons you might not want to shoot a 5.7 is because this round from Federal, that's not hollow point or anything like that, this is a dollar a round. Okay, so, um, you know, one mag's gonna cost you at least $23 to fill. So it's kind of an expensive round. Yes, it's fun to shoot. Um, the, the, the last recoil is really, really nice. So yeah, let's talk about shooting it. Um, as I mentioned already, shooting was, uh, shooting that round is a lot of fun. Um, actually, the very first shot I, I took out of this gun, it had a failure to eject, just flat out didn't eject. And I was like, oh, it's going to be one of those kind of reviews. Um, but I'm really happy to say that was the only issue I had. I'm not sure if it was ammo related or gun related, um, but everything else functioned flawlessly after that. Uh, no problems whatsoever. It's definitely accurate, um, definitely flat shooting. Uh, it's got a decent trigger on there for faster follow-up shots. This is more of a first impressions video because because I just said like these rounds are a dollar a round. And so I put, um, I put approximately 150 rounds through this. You know, that's $150 plus tax, plus shipping, as you can imagine. So it's a very expensive gun for me to review. So the 150 rounds, one failure to extract right at the start. Don't know what it was, never happened again. But other than that, yeah, it's very enjoyable to shoot. Now let's talk about the price point on these. So uh, a 5.7 from FN is gonna cost you about $1,100. The Ruger 5.7 is gonna cost you $7,750. And PSA comes in at $500 to get in uh, to shoot this gun, which I think is a very reasonable price. PSA, as you know, you know, it, it, they like to produce guns that they can keep the price down on so everyone can afford to buy them. However, maybe not be able to afford to shoot it, but you can afford to buy it. So um, I think some of the positives, it's got a really nice grip. Um, the trigger is pretty decent right out of the box. It's got the 1913 pick reel. I like that the sights, um, you can switch those out with any Glock sights that you wish. It comes with two metal mags. It comes with the, the soft case, which I think is a nice touch. They don't have to do that. When you're, when you're building guns and selling them for $500 and then you're throwing in a $30, $40, $40 soft case, whatever it may be, you know, that's pretty sweet. Um, would I recommend it? If you're okay with purchasing a dollar round ammo, knock yourself out. Um, I think it's a fun gun. Um, 
definitely to shoot. So totally up to you. As I say, it's just a little expensive for my taste uh, to run for sure. But yeah, all right, folks, that is pretty much it. If you have any questions, any comments, please ask them below. I'm always happy to help out wherever I can. Links in the description if you wish to buy one. Now, I'm going to say because these are new out, they are coming in and out of stock every day. So chances are, you know, when you look for the next few weeks, you know, you're not you're going to see mixed availability. Uh, just keep checking throughout the day to see when these are in because uh, they will come in at some point. Um, in stock throughout the day not not necessarily every day but they will come in during the week at some point for sure so all right folks uh that is it all right folks until next time i'll catch you later